you can make a million bucks a year or something. You can make sub 10 million bucks a year, but if you want to have real revenue, it takes, you know, they say it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village to build a business, either from scratch or what we're doing, restoration of old brands. Like it's a, it's who can build an army. You know, I tell entrepreneurs, you got to be a general. You got to think like a general. There's a good book I just read on Dwight Eisenhower, one of the great, you know, he, he, he led D-Day and arguably won World War II as the supreme commander of the, of the United Forces. And he was back in a tent planning. In fact, one of the, the people said one of the criticisms against Eisenhower was that he wasn't a battlefield general. But he had Patton. And he had Montgomery and he had these guys who were able to go out in the field. So he didn't do it. And I think that it's easy to get too much in the weeds and forget that I think, and people disagree, that most money's made at the strategic level back in the tent way behind. You know, that's where the war's won and that's where the money's made in business. So one of the things I noticed that you do a lot is you, you rather than saying that you yourself know something, you quote someone else and say, according to someone else, this is a, you pass, rather than saying it's your idea, you're very always very quick to quote someone else as being the expert. Is that a strategy that you use to, in other words, to sort of get more credibility for the things you say? Because it's an important strategy and there's a lot to be learned from that because for someone that's young, that's in the business world, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a powerful way to, um, you know, to talk with certainty, but not seem like you're bragging by essentially pointing it off to a third party. Is that a strategy you're using or is it actually the truth? And, and by, no, I'm not even being, it's, it's a, a powerful strategy. So I think it's important for people to look at that because, you know, what you're doing is you're saying, hey, according to this person, I'm a well-read guy. I read a book a day is your thing. And then you're going out there and using someone else's quote and it elevates you. Is that a strategy that you would think other people should use as well? I do think it's a strategy. I mean, for me, it's kind of my worldview. Um, and sometimes I get criticized for that. And this guy doesn't have an original idea, but it's, I actually look at it. I don't as think a it's, a, I think it's a good thing. I'm just, I, I want to highlight it though. I, I'm not trying to say it's a bad thing, but it's definitely something yeah. that should be discussed. I think if, I think it's a strategy to be used. You know, if you look at the 25 cognitive biases that influence humans, one of them is authority bias. So if you don't have bias, or if you don't have authority yourself, you can certainly say, the reason I want to make this, if you're pitching to investors, the reason I want to make this investment is because Warren Buffett is following this stat strategy with Berkshire Hathaway. And ipso facto, I feel like it's a strong strategy. I think that you should bring that up. And I think, it, I think so. I think it should be strategy. And at the same time, I think it should be life worldview you know it, it, it's funny the bible says and and i'm not a christian like that but i like to read things from wise people as it said the humble will inherit the earth the meek will inherit the earth i'm not sure that that necessarily means what we think of humility like somebody who's like oh real soft-spoken i think what it means is or my interpretation is that those people who realize that life is short but art is long that's a the first philosophical statement I think humans have recorded. Art is long. Uh, meaning to live life and figure out life takes a hell of a long time. You could, my grandma just died at 102 and she was like, I'm still figuring out life. But life is short. So I think it has to be a world, it has to be a philosophy that we all adopt that say, man, especially business. I meet people and they're so sure of themselves. And I'm like, hey man, business is complex. And... I don't, and it moves so fast and it's so competitive. 10 men have half the world's wealth. 10 top men on the Forbes list are wealthier than the bottom 4 billion people. That's how competitive this game is. I just don't think you have enough time in life to reinvent the wheel.